won two awards. Yes, the Critics Circle Awards. That was quite amazing. <laughs> it was um, it was a big surprise. I mean, I won the Newcomer Award for Best Performance. It was in Kafka Dancers as well as Oleana. But the Best Actor or Actress Award was uh, very surprising for me and a great honour because I was up against uh, Yoni Pryor, quite an extraordinary performance, mm. and Lindy Davies. Yeah. Do you sort of pinch yourself and say, wow, I'm here? Sometimes, <laughs> yeah, sometimes. And yet you've been quoted as saying you, you want to avoid all the hype of success and the hype of, uh, of show business. I just think that once you've achieved a certain, like I've, I've just having done Heartland, which is, has been quite huge for me, you can sort of begin to become a bit complacent perhaps and I don't want to equate success, whatever that is, with complacency and I, I need to keep challenging myself. Well, Ernie Dingo says you, you best thing to slice bread. He oh, raves about you. White slice bread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, it must have been amazing doing that series with him. Yes, um, he's a very supportive person and he took the whole project on um, on his shoulders. So I think it was quite difficult for him at times. He he felt the weight of responsibility, I think, for not only his family in Western Australia, but for Aboriginal communities all over Australia. Yeah, and 98% of the people in, in that uh, series were Aboriginal, mm, I think. Mm. I think there were about um, three or four maybe um, white cast that went all the way through. For your role, she has, in the role, she learns about um, Aboriginal culture. Mm. So therefore, you as a person have probably learned more about Aboriginal culture th than I would know in my lifetime. Mm. I mean, when I um, approach a role, I, I tend to do a lot of research. And what I found with Beth, just simply because of her, the, the way she approaches the culture, is that she learns through, it's an oral learning, which is the way Aboriginal culture has been passed on. It's, it's not textbook. You know, you don't, you don't go to the library and, and read what a white person says about it. You actually speak to people. And that's why it was wonderful to have people like Bob Mazza there. I mean, through working with him, I learned an extraordinary amount. You had a role in uh, Police Rescue the Movie. Yes. That was the kindergarten teacher. Yes, that was um, while I was doing Oleana. So it wasn't um, very... I mean, it wasn't difficult for me to be stressed out because I was with that. I mean, the situation in the movie was that I was being held hostage by Jeremy Sims. Mm. Some people's fantasy, perhaps, but... No. <laughs> He looked, I saw the movie, he didn't look like the sort of person you want to be held hostage by, did he? No, he ended up being my husband in, in Heartland, so our paths <laughs> constantly cross. All the time. Well, where about most of us shot Heartland? Uh, we shot two episodes in Western Australia, in the middle of nowhere, sort of near Mekathara, and most of it was sort of um, on the Hawkesbury. Mm -hmm. Hot? Very hot. And not in the Hawkesbury, but in... No, out <laughs> west. In, yeah, 63 degrees, I think, got to. <laughs> and yeah, it's, it was quite... Quite amazing. And little birdie told me that uh, you all took uh, Ernie Dingo's kids' nappies and wet them and put them on your head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were clean. They were clean. No, clean. Yeah. <laughs> no, the, the kid didn't wet. No, the kid didn't wet the nappies. <laughs> I wet the nappies. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was the only way to keep. I suppose it's like those old cool guardy safes. It had a big brimmed hat and put the the, oh, yeah. the wet nappy on, and within about thirty seconds it was dry again. So yeah. that was the only way to keep cool. What did you mean by? comment you made a while ago in an article, quote, my proverbial balls have dropped. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose it was a way of saying that um, in the last, I suppose especially the last six months, just with the stress of having to get up at six o'clock and, and getting home at sort of eight and nine, going to bed at 12 and then up at four or five again the next day, I've really had to draw on a lot of my, um, a lot of my strength and I, I feel like I've grown up a lot in, in the last sort of, mm. 12 months, 6 to 12 months. And you're, not, and you're not playing at acting. You're really doing the hard yak and really doing the job. And that's, yeah, and that, that's difficult at times because I think that it's very important that I, I still see that, I mean, my whole career as being a learning process and that I don't consider myself as being a product and I need to get up every day and produce and produce and produce because I think that's a, a great danger, especially in television.